two years ago, I made a promise. My name is Kustan. It all started when I was out fighting in the Oga War. Before then, I was an eye watchman for Lady Ariana Reed and Prido. During the beginning, there was a guy called Jacob in our squad. No one liked him. He was a bastard. I was thinking he was better than everyone else. Near the end of the war, my squad was on the front lines in the Ogre Land. The Ogres won the battle that day. Most of the warriors died and a few managed to escape. I ended up getting knocked unconscious. I woke up to find Jacob standing over me. The same thing happened to him. We were deep in the Ogre Land and with no help. We started to make our way back to the camp. With any luck, more soldiers would be going back to the front lines so we wouldn't have to walk all the way. The Ogre Land is a mountainous wasteland with nothing but rock cliffs that look like a mix between purple and gray. On the way back, some of the ground underneath Jacob collapsed, making him fall down a cliff. The cliff was not that deep, but it was enough to bring him close to death. I carefully made my way down to Jacob. I picked him up and started carrying him back. I knew he was not going to be able to survive, but I could not leave his body behind. Jacob also knew he was not going to be making it home. He told me about his wife and child he has in Lavinum. He told his son he was going off traveling. Jacob didn't want his son knowing he could die. He also told his son he would bring back an ancient treasure from his travels. Jacob asked me to find his son and look after him. Jacob might be an awful person, but in his final moments, he wanted to make sure his son will have a good life. I agreed, but he made me promise I would look after his family. It was now much longer until Jacob died. I kept carrying him, get his remains back to his family. While walking, I heard a roar. I turned around to see figures of ogres in the distance behind me. I started to run, but I couldn't go that fast while carrying Jacob. I stumbled upon piles of dead men. I placed Jacob on the pile and hid beneath the dead. The ogres caught up and then I realized they weren't chasing me but coming for food. The ogres started grabbing the dead and... Well, I would rather not say it aloud. I could not close my eyes in the fear they would pick up Jacob, so I couldn't do anything but watch. They did pick him up in the end. After they filled their bellies, they slept. I used that chance to escape. I made it back to the camp. It was not much longer until the war ended, and I could finally go home. Before I could see his family, I wanted to find a treasure. Something for Jacob's son, so I could say his father found it for him. It took me over a year, but I finally found a white coin with the moon symbol in red water. Now I have the treasure. I could go to Latinum to look after Jacob's family. His family were just like Jacob. Awful people. The wife wanted me out of the house wanting me to stay away, and the son said the coin is bad on me. <sighs> I made a promise. I have to make sure they're okay. I think I'll move to Lavinum and keep a watch from a distance. Never make a promise you cannot keep. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and click subscribe for new content. This was voiced by me, Don Frost. So don't forget to check out my links in the video description. Bye for now.